Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe to my channel, like this video and press the bell icon. Tailwind CSS version 4.0 was released on January 22, 2025, with some new features. With the release of Tailwind CSS version 4, the installation process has changed slightly. In this video, you will learn how to install the latest Tailwind CSS version 4.0 in your React.js app using Vite. Here, I have opened the Vite documentation. As you can see in the compatibility note, Vite requires Node.js version 18 plus or 20 plus. However, some templates may require a higher version of Node.js to work. So, before proceeding, make sure you have Node.js 18 plus or 20 plus installed on your system. Click here to copy this command. Go to the directory where you want to install your React app. Right click and select Open in Terminal. Before we install the React app using Vite, let's check the installed Node.js version. Type the command Node-V and press Enter. You can see that the installed Node.js version on my system is 22.13.1. Now, paste the command which you have copied and press Enter. You will see a message, need to install the following packages. Create Vite at 6.1.1 because the Create Vite package isn't globally installed on your system. Type Y for yes and press enter to proceed. Next, you will be prompted to enter your project name. Type your project name and press enter. Then you will be prompted to select a framework. Use the down arrow key to choose React and press enter. After that, you will be prompted to select a variant. We will use JavaScript so use the down arrow key to choose JavaScript and press enter. Now we need to use the cd project name command to navigate to the project directory and then use npm install command to install the dependencies and npm run dev command to start the dev server. Type the command cd space project name to navigate to the project directory. Next, open your project in Visual Studio Code. Click here and open a new terminal. Type the command npm install and press enter to install the dependencies. It will take some time to install the dependencies, so please wait until it is done. The dependencies have been installed. Now we need to start the development server. Type the command npm run dev and press enter to start the server. You can see that the server has started at localhost colon 5173. Here 5173 is the port number. Go to your browser and navigate to localhost colon 5173 and you will see the React V page with a counter. Click on the counter and you will see that it is incrementing. Now let's install Tailwind CSS 4.0. Here I have opened the Tailwind CSS homepage. Click on the docs link. Here is the installation guide for using Vite. First we need to install Tailwind CSS and at Tailwind CSS Vite via npm. Copy this command. Go back to Visual Studio Code. Press Ctrl plus C to stop the server. Then paste the command which you have copied and press Enter. The installation has been completed. Next we need to configure the Vite plugin. We need to add the at Tailwind CSS Vite plugin to the Vite configuration. Copy the Tailwind CSS plugin setup by copying Tailwind CSS. Open vite.config.js file and paste it after React followed by a comma. Import Tailwind CSS from at Tailwind CSS forward slash vite. Next, we need to add an at import to the CSS file that imports Tailwind CSS.
Copy this code. Go back to Visual Studio Code. Open index.css file which is inside the SRC folder. Remove this code and paste the code which you have copied to import Tailwind CSS. Next, we need to add the compiled CSS to the head section of the HTML file. Copy this code. Open index.html file and paste the copied code inside the head section. Now we need to add the Tailwind CSS utility classes inside app.jsx file. Open app.jsx file. Remove all the code from the fragment. Remove this code as well, including all of these imports. Now we need to add the Tailwind CSS utility classes. Copy this code. Paste the code which you have copied inside the fragment. Here we need to change class to class name since this is a JSX file. Add the text green 500 class for green text. Open app.css file and remove all the CSS code. Go to your browser and you will now see that all the Tailwind CSS utility classes have been applied. If you visit the Tailwind CSS blog, you'll find out what new features have been added. Let's see this new feature, 3D Transform Utilities. Copy this code. Remove this code and paste the code which you have copied in the fragment. Remove this comment and replace class with class name. Here I have added the classes Flex, Item Center, Justify Center, HScreen BG Gray 800, which creates a flex container that centers its content both vertically and horizontally, sets the height to 100% of the viewport, and applies a dark gray background. Then I added an image inside the article element, which ensures the image has a maximum width of 3xl. The height and width are set to 300 and 400 pixels respectively to control the image's display size. Now if you go to your browser, you will see the image with the 3D transform effect using the new Tailwind CSS utilities. In this video, we learned how to install Tailwind CSS 4.0 in a React app using Vite. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content. Feel free to drop any questions or comments below, and I'll be happy to help. I will see you in next tutorial, till then stay safe.